Go back that way and wait for me. <laughs> Ladies, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and your sexual preference. Uh, no, uh, please state your name and where you're from. Brianna, Australia. Ali, Australia. Courtney, Canada. Sherry, Canada. Chelsea, Canada. Georgie, England. Beth, England. <laughs> is the entire lesbian row this evening and from all different countries it's like international house of pancakes with lesbians <laughs> can i say that <laughs> ladies this is a very exciting moment for me not only is this the largest collection of foreign <laughs> ladies we've ever had on the show but i know how tense cbs are because they think i'm going to send all of you to a restaurant on their tab <laughs> And they're trying to send me signals right now not to do that. <laughs> but I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> all right. Where are you going to send them that? They're all from out of town. They're all from out of town. Different places. Well, well different, no, different places? Yeah. Are you going to split them up? Yeah. Oh. What the heck? That's colonial, man. You can't do that. <laughs> no, they have to go to the same place. No? <laughs> Why can't you what the hell is this? <laughs> Don't let me, make me look bad in front of the international lesbian. <laughs> what? Alter Craig. Well, you can all go to Craig's restaurant. Craig's a very good rich steak. You, uh, you're all vegetarians, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. you're, you're English. This is going to be awesome for you. Yeah. What part of England are you from? Brighton. I love Brighton. Oh, that's good. I slept on the beach once in Brighton. <laughs> Are you from Brighton too? Yeah. Do you ever go down to that? There's a club right at the beach, and then you come out drunk, and you just and you fall asleep in the beach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you guys are from Vancouver Island. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, if you were really Canadian, you wouldn't have done it like that. You would have been like Vancouver Island. That's nice. And you're Australian. Yep. <laughs> Australia are you from? Uh, Brisbane on the East Coast. Oh yeah, Brisbane, the <laughs> Cobber's Revenge. <laughs> I've never been to Brisbane, don't know anything about it. Come on over. This is Secretary. Follow him to the end of the corridor and then go to the... I don't know, just go. <laughs> Follow the Secretary. Go! Sorry, I was just backstage. I was helping myself to a little chocolate dollar. <laughs> and I had the chocolate dollar in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. And then I heard the warm up comedian shout that we call him a comedian, he's not really a comedian, but the uh, I heard him shout, Here come Craig! And I'm like, <laughs> So I had to come out and go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I thought I could hear my mother's voice in my head, Don't you talk with your mouth, fool! You're a, you're a greedy fat wee boy. 
<laughs> oh, I was a greedy fat wee boy. Anyway, look, that's not the point. It's finished now. My chocolate dollar is gone. <laughs> and it is now a great day for America, everybody, isn't it? And may I say, may I say the Friday night audience <laughs> even better than the Thursday oh, yeah. night audience. Wait, wait, everybody, wait. Wait, I've just noticed, I've just noticed how long my tie is. We may have to uh, go to a commercial break while I fix it. <laughs> Look at the length of this tie. Jeez, I, I could be naked and be out here. It would be cool. <laughs> well, well, no, I couldn't, no. <laughs> what was that word you came up with last night? The schlarman. Schlarman, yeah. It's a slang word for a long time. Now, this being Friday, of course, it is the last day of the week I look forward to every year. I think you know this, oh, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, it's the last day of Clitoris Awareness Week. That's a, that's a, that's a real thing, that's a, and it's all this week. <laughs> like, the women are applauding, and the guys are like, I don't know what that is. What is that? That's some kind of, what is that, some kind of diet soda? <laughs> yeah, give me a couple of cans of clitoris with that. The diet clitoris, may I? <laughs> it's a real thing, and I've been participating uh, within. Oh, I've been trying to. I spent the last, you know, hour looking for the parade. I couldn't find it. I gave up. <laughs> this is a good tie for clitoris awareness oh, yeah. week, though, isn't it? Yeah. Where is it? This direction. <laughs> well, not on, not on, uh, you know. No, no. But I've got a schlarman. No, clearly, yeah. Clearly, clearly. Anyway, what I'm excited about today is the Clitoris Awareness Week thing, but also there's a big movie out today, The Great Gatsby. Leonardo DiCaprio is a billionaire who can have any woman he wants and never seems to be happy. I don't know what he plays in the movie, but Leonardo DiCaprio... Yeah. See what I did? Yeah, yeah. Now... The Great Gatsby is based on F. Scott Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald, yeah, Fitzgerald. That's how we say it back in the old country, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Ah, Fitzgerald. Aye. 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 Anyway, F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote a novel, uh, The Great Gatsby. I was surprised when I saw this was in 3D, though. I think what they want to do is they want to use Fitzgerald's sardonic critique of materialism to come right at you, like that. <laughs> That isn't for the Great Gatsby, that's for a clitoris awareness week. <laughs> now, David. <laughs> Big ups to my homies on Lesbian Row right there. Now. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, you know, 3D. If it's, uh, you know, 3D. 3D. Yeah, yeah the Fitzgerald. They, wanna, they should have jazzed up the title as well. They should have called it something like Too Fast, Too Gatsby or something. <laughs> I, this is the fifth time someone's made a film version of Gatsby. Five film versions of The Great Gatsby. Not a single film version of Snooky's novel. <laughs> Good job, Hollywood. No. I, from what I remember, though, I read the book, it was a long time ago, the plot goes like this. Uh, Jay Gatsby falls in love with a girl, he goes off to the war, he returns to find out she's married, he feels confused and angry and abandoned. It's like he's Justin Bieber's monkey. He's like, oh, where am I? What's going on? And they're like, yes, you're naughty. You're a naughty little monkey. Justin Bieber's not here now. We have confiscated your monkey. Yes, your monkey will never be returned to you, Justin Bieber. There are not enough bananas in the world to bring your monkey back. <laughs> anyway, the great Gatsby, well, the reviews of the film have been mixed. One uh, critic said, and this is true, this is a quote, it's like a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade staged by Liberace. <laughs> you know, but there's been negative reviews as well. Um, <laughs> The New York Times uh, called the film a trashy opera, and I think that's supposed to be negative, and I'm like, no, it's not negative at all. Trashy opera sounds awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like, like Mozart's Don Giovanni starring Honey Boo Boo, it'd be fantastic. <laughs> the Marriage of Figaro. Figaro, 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 Dingley Doo. Figaro, Figaro, Honey Long, 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 Long. Well, we like it. Anyway, look, the movie... 
The movie has uh, marketing tie-ins everywhere. Brooks Brothers has Gatsby suits. The Plaza Hotel in New York, this is true, is opening up a Fitzgerald suite. I think, that's lovely. A room named after an alcoholic with tuberculosis who drove his wife mad before dying in his 40s. I want to stay in that room! <laughs> Actually, I lived in that room in the 1980s. Uh, yeah. <laughs> F. Scott Fitzgerald only wrote four novels during his life. Four. You know, four novels. Stephen King can write four bestsellers while he's taking a dump. Four no. <laughs> four novels, that's it! Even though it's in the pantheon of American literature, Fitzgerald only made $2,000 from Gatsby. And yet, Dr. Phil is a billionaire. Oh. What's your point, Craig? My point is... That, that, that sucks. <laughs> Yeah, it? that's depressing. Yeah, it is depressing. <sighs> oh. Luckily, my tie is so long, it's tickling me back into a good mood. <laughs> you know the thing? If I start like that... If I start like that, it's fine. Yeah, that's if, fine. You, you know, you'd think I'd get the length of my tie right. I've had all day to get this length. <laughs> If I stand like that, it's fine, but the rest of me looks wrong, but the tie looks right. The tie looks great. Yeah. But if I stand like that, then everybody thinks, oh, look at him trying to point to his schlarman. <laughs> <laughs> button that up. You see, you button it, and then it still peeps out the bottom like that. And from all of us here at CBS, we wish you a happy Clitoris Awareness Week. We'll be right back. Nothing like blowing the old rusty trombone on a Friday night, right, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, welcome back, everybody. Ooh, my lips have gone all... <laughs> yeah, I'm all... I'm like Angelina Jolie. I'm like... Oh, what? What? <laughs> She's got pouty lips. If she was right here right now, I'd say, you've got pouty lips, Angelina. I mean, there's nothing wrong saying somebody with pouty lips has pouty lips, is it? No. There's no need to ooh me for saying Angelina Jolie. What the hell is wrong with you people? Last night we had an audience. Tonight, I don't even know what you are. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I, I'm just upset because my tie is driving yeah. me crazy. Yeah. I'm sorry for losing my temper. It's just every time I sit down, the tie goes at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Jeff, uh, any idea of what time it might be? Well, I'd certainly like to tell you. Well, it's go. Tweet Mail right. time, brought to you by Fiber Supplements. Keep it regular, target demographic. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you implying that the target demographic for this show is old? Yes, I am. <laughs> Not necessarily. You know, I'm quite... Uh, I'm fine with young people watching the show. Young people, old people, uh, you know, people of various shapes and sizes. I, I get no problem. You watch the show if you want. It's not, like, we, I don't have a target demographic. <laughs> CBS, on the other hand, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do. Hey, this is a, uh, well, it's a uh, tweets and emails. Do you yeah, want to do the jingle? Yeah, yeah. All right. Tweets and D's. Well, the horse likes it anyway. Look at that. All right. This is from Maureen on the Tweety. She's a duck. Look at Maureen's oh, duck right there. That's, nice. that's funny because that's a male mallard duck, and yeah. yet her name's yeah. Maureen. Yeah. And Maureen's a transgender duck. Uh, Maureen says, hello from Paris. Oh, she's French. All right. Hello from Paris. Oh, no, she's American visiting there. We went to all the places that you went to on your show when you were here, and it's been a great trip. Oh, great. <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, from Kingston in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, yeah. uh, I always enjoy to get emails from a guy from Connecticut. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. Uh, absolutely. Lovely. It's like getting an email from Downton Abbey, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Isn't it so lovely to get an email from uh, Connecticut? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 
Oh, it's very good. Uh, it says, Dear Mr. Ferguson, Mr. Peterson, and Mr. Terriat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is quite a coincidence, because the email says, uh, I like it when you guys speak in a very proper British accent, so I was hoping you'd answer my email that way. Well, what a jolly coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> terribly, terribly good. I say, it's rather fortunate that we chose... It was. It, was, like it was absolutely trumbunctious. Tr trum like a rusty trumbunctious? Is that what you Don't do my rub rub robot. Robot. <laughs> yes, robot. It's like a robot, except it's from Australia. <laughs> Have you seen my robot, mate? He yeah. can hop across the outback like a good one. Oh, he's a gay robot. <laughs> I like the idea of a robot, some kind of mechanical robot. No, kangaroo that can... Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, this is from Nick in Denver. Uh, can you see this? Oh, dear. He's a raven. Wow. This is from Nick Raven in Denver. That's a good name, isn't it? The Nick Raven. I, Nick Raven. I would be a private detective if my name was Nick Raven. <laughs> Nick Raven, P.I., what do you want? All right, what is it, Raven? What do you got for us? Well, I, I saw this uh, thing lying over here, and it looks like it's dead. All right, well, can you give us a description, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's, uh, it's, it's got a shoe. It's got a shoe, so there's one missing, you see? No, it's, it's only one leg on it. It's some kind of robot. A robot? <laughs> All right, so the killer was Australian. Not necessarily. The robot was Australian, but the killer could have been from any nationality, although there is a shamrock and a little shillelagh lying next to the, uh... We're all going to be a lot happier when you're retired, I'll tell you that. <laughs> this is my last day. Yeah. No, it is. really is my last day. This is from Tom in Toronto. Uh, oh, he's uh, Canadian. Oh, hey, Tom. Oh, he may, may not be. He may be just visiting Toronto. Dear Craig and Jeff, no, nope, definitely Canadian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my girlfriend is making me grow a beard. Will you try and grow a beard with me, please? No, grow your own damn beard. <laughs> All right, I'll try quickly. I don't have much time. Looks good, looks good. Thanks, yeah. man. Nice. Finally, this is from Sarah, or Sarah, in Dix Hills, Long Island. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. A lot of, lot of, lot of up there, right? Yeah. It's really Dix Hills. That's that's what it is. D-I-X Hills. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's like when we got that... Where did we get that email from that place in Pennsylvania? What's it called again? Intercourse. Intercourse, Intercourse Pennsylvania. Intercourse. And then that other place in Newfoundland. What's it called? <laughs> Dildo. Dildo, yeah. <laughs> really? It's true. Really? Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, I was inspired by your talks with your horse about losing weight, and now I'm down about seven pounds. Thanks. <laughs> I gotta say, you, you're look, yeah. you're, you're looking good too. You, uh, you lost a little weight? Not that you were fat, you didn't need to lose it. But you just lost it anyway. And how did you do it? Coke habit? Oh, jogging and cocaine. <laughs> jogging, cocaine, hitting your head off the side of the wall and more jogging. And then Zumba, Zumba, banging your head off the wall, and then, and then, and then doing that, going crazy, putting your feet up, and then, and then backing it up. Did you back it up at any point? Back it up, up come on! Tonight, co-directed and co-wrote the film Hell Baby, uh, which will be shown at the Bonnaroo Music Festival. That's a, that's that's what the kids love. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> the music festival on the June the 14th. Uh, he's a good friend of the show, a genius. He's got a new moustache. Don't mention it. I don't think that he. I think he's a little sensitive about it. Oh yeah, yeah. So when he comes out, don't all go. Oh wow, moustache. Uh. <laughs> 
don't don't go, oh, moustache when he comes out. But please welcome Tom Lennon, everybody. Up. So, <laughs> hey Tom, anything going on moustache wise no, with you? No, I'm good, man. I'm cool. No, it's all right. Come on, let me see exactly it. Let me see thing. it. It's good. It's good. It looks good. It looks good. Yeah. Craig, the tie looks great. Don't worry about it's it. It's too weird. long, man. It's Look, not, it's man. too long. It's it's not, it's, it's, it's right there. I mean. It's, <laughs> It's too long. I made a, an error of judgment. Of course, I could have fixed it. Really it really draws the eye, though. Does it? Yeah. It's almost up here, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> it's up here. Anywhere else? No, come on. Stop looking at that. Well, now I'm, you drew me there. Well, look over here, then. Yeah. Look. I, well, I'll do that. Uh, um, the thing about the mustache, Craig. Yeah. That's pretty weird. Is it's not weird when you realize. You're like, oh, I'm growing a mustache, I'm growing a mustache. But then you start to, to, to really love it. It becomes part of you, you know? It's like your persona. It's like when Spider-Man finds out he's Spider-Man, you know? That's a hell of a mustache you're talking it, about it, there. I, it feels that good. It's but like you a see, super, but you, yeah. Now, if you don't mind me saying that, I think you may have some product in your hair, right? <laughs> Now, the product in your hair is not the same as the product in your moustache. Your moustache seems to be more poofy than yeah. your hair. Your hair is, is waxen and your moustache is poofy. Uh, the moustache, I, I hate to admit that I, I did blow dry it before I came, but... And what about the moustache? <laughs> Do you, uh, you ever yeah. seen uh, one of them uh, robots? It's like a kangaroo that's a robot. You ever seen one of those? Does it vacuum the yeah, pool? Yeah, yeah. It goes around the pool and sucks up all the... Oh, no. you, it's, a, it's a robot kangaroo that you throw in your pool. Y yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And then... That's uh, great. What's the catchphrase for that? Um, when you... When you... Uh, uh, when you... When you... When everything's down under and you... <laughs> Look. When, it's already not a catchphrase. It's already too long to be a catchphrase. When a robot can when you pools needs in the night of a robot kangaroo, <laughs> and only one will do. It's kangaroomba. Is that what you're saying? I didn't understand much of that. I, I tell you though, the, the Australians are going to be mad at you now because that wasn't a good accent. And Australians get mad if you if you do, they don't mind you doing their accent, but you got to do it good. You don't do a good. Uh, Let's what? Hit me. What? Hit me. All right. Ruly Gride. <laughs> That's very Ruly good. Ruly Gride. Right. Okay. Uh, Australia. No. Australia. That's it. Australia. Yeah. Rah! Rah! Wait. Rah! Uh, Rah! I have to... Australia! A quick question. Are you yes. doing an Australian person or an Australian animal? Animal. Okay. All right. You have that to get... much more right, sense. You have to guess which animal I'm doing, right? From Australia. Right? And then you... I got it. One. I got it. All right. Ready? Yep. I know exactly what you are. What is it? Which is you're a wallaby in a leather bar. Yes! <laughs> All right, yeah, you do one. Yeah. It's not a knife, and it's a knife. <laughs> a dingo? Yes. Yeah, oh, very good. Yeah. All right, well, that's good. Yeah. Have you ever been to Australia? I've never been to Australia. No, because it's always winter there, and I, it's... No, yeah. no, no. Well, when I would go, it always is. Well, yeah. change your plans. I can't do that. Are you very like that? You just won't change your plans? It's far away. I any... won't. I won't. No. No. Right. Um, have you been down there? It's so far away. Nah, I have been to Australia uh, yeah. a couple of times, yeah. Do you dress different when you're there? Yeah. Yeah. Hat with the corks hanging yeah. down? Yeah. Corks? Yeah, no, no. They're perfectly. Just like they're shorts, just, they're just shorts, like us, shorts. except things go around the, the other way. Yeah. You know, like when you when you take the water out of the plug hole, it goes around the other way. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I've never noticed what yeah. way it goes around up here, to be honest. I don't hang around. Happen, yeah. no. no. I don't have baths. I have but showers. I've become an American. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. do you have baths? Uh, uh, you know, my, my, I'm, my son takes baths and he loves Well, he's, yeah. a, he's, a, he's a little baby. Though. Yeah. He's, he's, he's very yeah, little. I mean. So annoying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What age is he, your son? He's uh, four. Oh, well, oh. that's pretty good. No, 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 no. Yeah. 
No, the worst. The no, worst. come on, man. Yeah. Baby is the worst. Baby, baby is the worst. Baby is awful. They're like, baby. ah! Yeah, I'm sorry, I was doing my uh, animal again there. That was very really good. Wallaby in a leather bar. That's exactly. Let's set this up. Yeah. We go to DreamWorks. It's a movie. Wallaby in a leather bar. Animated movie? Yeah. Wallaby in a leather bar? I yeah. like it. I like it. Yeah. Does the wallaby have a girlfriend? <laughs> He's in a leather bar. <laughs> <laughs> what what do you think? It's it's for a niche audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Have you been to a lot of leather bars? Mm, I'm trying to think. <laughs> it feels like no. It feels like no. Have you ever been to one of those sex leather clubs bar? A sex yeah, club? Any of those types? I don't of think I've been to a sex club. I've kind of occasionally meandered into the wrong situation. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually That's been a in a club where it's advertised, you know, come right. here, wear a special outfit, sit in the uh, special equipment, and <laughs> hope for the best. Yeah, that's some weird stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't, I don't... Uh... I, I, I accidentally ran into a swingers convention once. What? Yeah. Well, over at the, uh, the Sportsman's Lodge, we happened to be filming. Right. And uh, a lot of people came in sort of real sexily dressed, tight, shiny stuff. Women too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I'm talking solid threes and fours. Whoa, yeah. yeah. And everybody had their name tag on with like a at symbol, and you realized it was an online swingers club, and they oh. were meeting for the first time. Oh man, here you so, know yeah. I know this is probably okay, but here let's have some of this anyway. Yeah. 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 <laughs> ah, we gotta take a break for uh, for uh, personal hygiene reasons. We'll be right back with Tom. Special guest for Clitoris Awareness Week, Tom Lennon is here, everybody. Uh, well done, uh, Tom. The Are you going to go and see Gatsby this weekend? Uh, I can't wait, especially because I always thought when I read the book, I was like, if only this was in 3D. Oof. <laughs> I gotta be, it sounds like uh, sacrilegious to say this, but I didn't care for the book either. I was like, ugh. It's a guy, it's a guy he looks at stuff and he's sad, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can, I'm doing yeah. that every day. Yes, exactly. I'm sitting around looking at sad yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I recently, I almost auditioned for a DiCaprio movie. Really? Yeah. Well, you mean you almost auditioned, like, you, you thought about it, but they wouldn't let you audition? No, no, the first time... You know me, you know I don't say no to anything. Well, uh, welcome mm. to the show tonight. Uh. <laughs> no, but so uh, they, I, got a, I got a call from my agent. They said, Martin Scorsese's casting director is very aware of you. Wow. That was my... Re that's exactly what I yeah, said. wow. You just did an impression yeah. of me. I was a little tougher. Wow. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. They said they said there's a role in the new DiCaprio movie that you would be perfect for. Wow, that's a, yeah, even better. Yeah, yeah. And I said, great. What is it? They said it's Patrick the Butler. Look at the scene. Come in and he'd love for you to read it for Martin Scorsese. So I look at the scene, open it up. Patrick the Butler is caught in a all fully nude in a gay orgy. <laughs> in in Leonardo DiCaprio's mansion penthouse. Is this part been cast yet? <laughs> <laughs> the only line Patrick the butler then says is, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he then gets beaten up and hung naked out the window of the apartment. And, and I thought, so wait, Martin Scorsese thinks I'm perfect for this? <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's gonna be a long day, you know, because then, you, you know, you go, your mom comes to set visit. What are you doing today? Well, you know, they're hanging me naked out the window. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of showbiz, so. Hey, man. Oh, hey. Hey. The glamour. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's made me sad. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm probably doing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, all right, well, good luck with that. Uh, Thanks, Tom Lennon, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> They've asked me not to mention a special word anymore. I've said it too much. 
We had a conversation with Michael during the break. He said, please don't mention that word that you've been mentioning all week. There's an awareness of it week. I am not allowed to mention it anymore. So welcome back to special Lady Button Awareness Week, everybody. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, my next guest is the beautiful host of So You Think You Can Dance. The new season uh, premieres on Fox May the 14th. Take a look at this. I can't get out. I'm stuck. <laughs> the lovely Cat Dealey, My favourite too. My favourite. You they look always, lovely. They always say these things to me where they go, "We, we are you going to have a chat on this show? Are we going to have a chat on that show?" I'm like, mm, "No, no, no, Craig. Yeah." Yeah. yeah well. Thank you. I like your sweater. I know. Well, it's basically a tracksuit. No, no, it's nice. You know what it's got? It's got. It looks a bit like a sweatery tracksuit, but then it's got ancient Egypt across. <laughs> it's like Cleopatra's jogging top. <laughs> It's true, and in the same way that your tie is leading you to an area, mm. thus, uh. it's a bit of a letdown, I know. Well, but, but not, a, not as much as where this takes you. <laughs> How are you doing with the dance and take you to the dance so you think you can do it show? How's that working? Oh, 10 seasons we're in now. Wow, that's amazing. It's, it's Congratulations. Quite, You've got a bit of money now. I actually do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. If you need 20 bucks, I can probably shout you. It's only a loan, though. No, I don't want it then, because you'll charge me interest. <laughs> I will. I went, no, ten years on. I can't believe That's it. That's fantastic. It's well done. It's one of done. those things where you turn around and, and I say to the kids now that come on the show, I'm like, right, so why do you want Why do you want to be on So You Think You Can Dance? And they go, well, I've been watching the show since I was nine. I'm like, since you were nine. Nine, yeah, I know. And I, I feel like a dinosaur. And get out. Get out, you piece of it, evil voodoo. You, you, know what, you know what? It gets worse as well. I get, you know, I get people come up to me and go, hey, I grew up watching new on Drew Carey show I'm 50 now and that's just the women yeah that, and the men are worse yeah so um, did you did you get married I did congratulations how lovely congratulations that's nice it is because it's been two years since I last saw you I yeah it's been, been a while years. yeah so yeah I got married in uh, Rome last September Rome Italy Rome Italy how special that was very special what part of Rome in the Vatican was it the no, Pope the old Pope not the new Pope <laughs> well the thing is I married an Irishman um, oh that's clever <laughs> <laughs> Why are they are they a nightmare Irishman? I wouldn't dream of saying anything about my uh, <laughs> my brothers from the Your Emerald Isle. Friends. Yeah. Um, no, I married an Irishman, and so he's Catholic. Mm -hmm. uh, and we want not all of them are Catholic, by the way, but that's a much no, no, bigger no, thing. That's, yeah, that's yeah. much bigger. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, he's Catholic, and so we wanted to do it kind of quick, quick, hush, hush. That's not how Catholics do things. They have smoke and things, and oh. It's true. But it's amazing how quick you can make things happen if you need to. Really? What are we saying? What are we talking about? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't rehearsed. No, not at all. So, I, I slipped in a couple of very rude things oh, there as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, uh, so we got so we got it done very quickly because little did anybody know, but apparently within the Catholic Church you can get things done if you have the right amount of cash. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yes, it's true. I'd and like so to be Pope. How much is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, the other one's just given up. So no, no, there's the, the there's a new one now. A Do new you one. have you become a Catholic then? No. Uh, well, I think I kind of have supposedly. I think, but there was an interesting conversation. <laughs> there was an interesting conversation that happened, which went along the lines of. Um, he knew I wasn't a Catholic. I'm just Church of England. Nothing. Well, well, that's Anglican is sort but it's of like not Catholic. Really, though, is well, it? It's just the Queen's version of I'll be Queen. Yeah. And Henry VIII can divorce as many people as he likes. Yeah, yeah. 
So, um, Do you know that there's a, an English writer called J.B. Priestley who said that the Church of England isn't really a religion, it's just to keep British people out of trouble. That's it. <laughs> that's it. But, but essentially, that's exactly what it was. But I think a lot of religions are that. Yeah, though, right? the only time I ever went to church was when I was in, like, guides or brownies or something like that. Right, right, right me too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So uh, I said, well, you know, you know I'm not a Catholic. And he said, yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we can do like a quickie thing. I wasn't pregnant, by the way, either. And um, uh -huh. that's an aside, sorry. And, um, uh huh. <laughs> nice sweater. <laughs> Loose. <laughs> Loose. And, um, and that's not me, that's a sweater. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and they said, um, he said, so all I need is I just need your christening certificate. So that was an interesting conversation where I had to ring up my mom and go, have I, have I been christened? And have you? No. Lake of fire for you, lake of fire! <laughs> apparently, I am hurtling hellwards as we speak. That's well, it. pretty much anyone who sits in that chair is, uh... <laughs> well, that's, is, is, your, uh, is your new husband a deeply religious man? No, he... his, his family are. Right. His family are. But uh, in the end, it all went very nicely. We got married in Rome right by the Spanish Steps. Oh, Beautiful. very nice. And did you honeymoon there too? Yeah, so what we did was we, went, we did like a, an Italian because I'm not I've got the bride gene missing from me really? I'm just, yeah I'm just not into it I wasn't into I just wanted a giant feast in the garden where you drink tons of wine and great Italian food and dancing on the nothing table. wrong with that that all sounds fine to right? me yeah, so yeah I didn't want any of the, the silliness that comes with it where everybody right. must have a favor and there's a maid of honor and oh all God, that. tell me about it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> been there girlfriend <laughs> Twice. Twi twice? Uh, three? Well, three, this uh, is... Uh, did you yours? No, I'm just a... Um, oh, yeah, I'm... Yeah, and the... No, I think definitely, any... definitely three, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, no, you got to have three. Is this just a warm-up? Well, uh, yeah, you're, yeah, you got to get your first two out of the way, get them done, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you get the third one. Well, have you got any tips for me? You, you don't want any tips from me. <laughs> I'm a lot better now than I used Are to be. Are you? Yeah. Why? Yeah. What have you changed? What do you do differently? Well, I, you know, I, I don't drink anymore, and I, uh, I kind of, I try and listen and go to the feelings garden when I have to. What's the feelings garden? <laughs> what is the feelings garden? It's the, it's the place where we discuss our feelings. I don't really understand the feelings garden, but sometimes you gotta go there, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Especially if you want to be involved in lady button awareness. I week. was about to say, we back there. Yeah, I thought you were. It's lovely to see you, Kat. <laughs> Kat Daly, everybody, we'll be right back. Jeffrey? Yes, Craig? I feel we don't talk anymore. Well, well, we can talk now if you'd like. Well, I, I just feel that towards the end of the day as I come here to roast the old nuts by the fire, I... Ah, yes. Get the old schlarman nice and warm. Is that the word you invented? Schlarman. That, last, right. la that was last night. That was word, last night, it? yes. Yes. There was one thing I've learned, Jeffrey, What's is that... You can say a naughty word too often on this show. <laughs> a word which is not naughty at all is just a perfectly acceptable anatomical description. Yes. Becomes a naughty word just by repeating it over and over and over again. But, Jeff, if I know one thing about said anatomical thing that we were mentioning later, it is one of those areas that needs attended to longer than you would wish to attend to the damn thing. <laughs> That you have to go at it over and over and over again, and when you think you're done, you haven't even begun, Jeffrey. One of the many reasons I'm glad I don't have a tongue. Good night, everybody.